Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We usually don't shoot additional intro for the vlogs, but this one is so special that I actually want to share a bit more background with you before we jump into the vlog and the amazing environment we're going to take you to. Shui Xian is a very popular and classic Yan Cha cultivar, but not limited to Yan Cha. If this is your first time heard of Yan Cha or Rock Tea, we have a video introduce some basics about Yan Cha, so be sure to check that out. So Shui Xian cultivar is like a dandelion of tea. It grows everywhere in Guangdong and Fujian provinces. So it's not a kind of a precious cultivar. It grows everywhere, but it also doesn't mean it is bad. It is so popular that besides Yan Cha, you can also find like Jumping Shui Xian, which is more of a floral, creamy, a little bit like a green oolong profile. The discovery of the charming taste of a old bush Shui Xian elevated the whole market for this tea. So Lao Cong literally means old bush, and sometimes you might see Bai Nian Lao Cong, which means hundred year old bush. So is it really hundred years old? Um, like I always say, forget about the labels, right? Just focus on the tea itself. It is extremely rare to have a Bai Nian Lao Cong. It's just like it is very rare to have those 40 or 50 years old aged poor. So once I found a sample pack of Bai Nian Lao Cong in my tea closet, and since 99% of Bai Nian Lao Cong in the market, just means it's a Shui Xian. I didn't take that tea seriously. I opened the package, looked at the leaves, and have a smell. Um, it was actually a very good Shui Xian. And when I had my first sip, I was shocked. I didn't expect a real Bai Nian Lao Cong. And that exact tea comes from the garden we're about to show you. Wu San Di, located in the Wu area, is where the whole craze about old bush Shui Xian got started, and Wu San Di Lao Cong is considered the top notch of old bush Shui Xian. When we were sipping tea with the producer, he kept saying that the Bai Nian Lao Cong out there in the market are all counterfeit. Those people don't even know how real Bai Nian Lao Cong looks like. And when we saw the garden with our own eyes, we understand where his confidence comes from. Those tea bushes are shocking. Even for my mom, our tea consultant Jian Li, who has been traveling for the past 20 years and has been to all of the major tea regions in China, wild tea gardens are not foreign to her. But she was in awe upon seeing this Bai Nian Lao Cong Shui Xian tea garden. Enough of this blah blah blah. Let's get you into this mind blowing tea garden. show you uh, how we're ordering here. It uh, freaked me out when I first got to China, but it's actually the food is very good and extremely fresh. So you basically walk in. Uh, I don't know if you can see here, there's some live eels there. And just you just start, you select your dishes based on all this fresh ingredients that are here. There's some frogs in there, some beans, there's some bamboo, some fish. There's little mini shrimps there, a uh, chunk of pork, I think. Fresh fish again. The upper shelf is really steamy, hard to see, but it's full of fresh veggies. I count a minimum of three or four kinds of mushrooms, maybe five. Two. No, those are all. Uh, there's some soybean sprouts. 
tomatoes. I mean, everything is super fresh. And then you just have a little chat with the uh, with the restaurant owner or the server about what you want to do and what the dishes do they make, and you just kind of negotiate that. At least that's my impression. I just eat. So one of the traditions in the South is to uh, rinse the dishes before you use them with boiling water, kind of like tea. So we're doing that now. And now we just, you know, rinse like tea wet. I gotta stop the camera to do it. See you later. It's also pretty typical to have kind of a community pot of rice, but I have yet to have seen a big barrel like this. Super cool. And the lid goes back on. So we just tasted three delicious nausea at a place where Jenny had a lead to go check out. They were so good, we're now on the road again, heading to the farm. Can't you see wait. those 100 years old What a sip. So we've stopped here to check out some to check out some bushes that the farmer has uh, has transplanted successfully about a 30 year old bush because his other old bush area was quite crowded I guess. Look at this view. Just look at the view. It's beautiful. Lots of tea. As well as other plants, which is important. It's just absolutely stunning here. You've got uh, tea fields all around, but the density of the forest is totally impressive. Just across this valley is a rushing mountain stream. After rain, these streams will swell for quite a few days. Uh, even months, they'll just rush. Beautiful. So here's an old bush with some uh, interesting moss-like stuff growing down off of it, like a beard. So we're now on a in a bamboo forest on a bamboo forest path up a pretty steep hill from a rushing stream heading to the uh, producer's garden, another section of his garden. I've been told he grows something like 15 different uh, cultivars. We passed a patch of yellow tea, uh, not yellow tea, but not the type, but uh, some very yellow leaves and Jim pointed out that those are Baiji Guan. So we're just heading down now. Uh, maybe towards that stream, we'll see. <laughs> it's pretty wet. I mean, it's raining right now. It's the second second tea garden we visited in the rain at least it's not pouring um but the footing is uh tenuous at best these rocks are covered in moss so they can be quite slippery the muddy kind of earth sand that is perfect for tea is also quite slippery when wet so we're having to uh move quite slowly i'm sure for the tea farmer it's painfully slow He's used to this, I think, by this sort of casual nature he's coming down. With his umbrella. <laughs> Let's look at that stream down there. You good, babe? There's a tree here you can use to uh, help slow your descent. This tree is pretty handy to grab to help slow your descent. in case you need both hands. You should be all right. Ah, I don't know. 
There you go, you got it. Good job. Oh, this looks slippery too. Yeah, everything looks slippery basically. The, the producer's going down with a smoke and an umbrella. He's just like... It's like a sidewalk for him. Look at the thickness of his bamboo tree. Yeah, he, yeah, yeah, he's not using his hands at all. No, that's for in case there's a, a snake or any other stuff. Oh. Yeah, I'm telling you, this is a... So we're down at the stream level now. You can hear the water rushing by a lot louder. It's just beautiful. Just so beautiful. Just like her. Beautiful. Let's carry on. got a lot more level now we've come down a quite a steep grade now we're on a level path following just above that stream that we just saw the air is so fresh and clean because of the rain and all the greenery around us uh, it's impressive how full these hillsides are of uh, greenery despite how steep they are and there's tons of old bushes down here I think this is the crowded garden he was talking about. I think that's where we're headed. I think that's the garden. That's a lot of old bushes. What's that? Yes. Let's have a look at the narrow path we just came across. There and it is this right is there. A totally and then just... it's straight down to the garden. Yeah. If you want to get there quickly but with bruises, that's the way you go. Slip sliding away. A little bit juicy here. The path is actually a minor stream of its own. There's water flowing under our feet. Here's what we're walking in right now. Yeah. Another view of the stream, you can see it's descending pretty rapidly. Yeah. And we're entering the garden here. We, here's the old bushes, the other end of that garden we just looked at from up at the top of the path. This is quite slippery here, babe. Your mom had a little mini slip. <laughs> All right, so I'm at the mouth of this old tree Shui Sien garden. I'm just gonna walk you through this so you can experience it with me. I'm just coming in, you saw that bush we passed. The ground is wet and slippery and muddy underfoot. Look at the age of these trees, gorgeous. The air is fresh and clean from the recent rain. The stream is rushing beside us. It's just a magical place. Just walking through this wonderful garden. There's the farmer here. Oh, 
，很好，很好，很好，哎，谢谢，谢谢，非常好，非常好。你看这个么大的、嗯，外面没有嘞。他们吹牛逼，家谁家有老松，谁家有老松，吹牛的。They're covered in moss. Jenny is here. 哦，这个也是房子的。这才叫老松。Just a magical place. 哇，十万年的那种。Look at that tree. So that's Jen's hand. That's and that's an outer. The one she's in front of is actually an outer, like bush uh, branch. Oh, where am I? Oh, here we go. <laughs> this is actually an outer branch. The main stem stem is even thicker, and there's and several stem. of them. Yeah, it's these are all one one big old girl tea bush. That's called a Bainian, the real hundred years old. Uh, Lao Tong. Like yes, this is just like beautiful. And look at all the way up. You see, it's moss covered. There's where we see the leaves flushing out at the tips. Beautiful. Just wanted to capture a quick shot of this stunning, vibrant differences in green. Places like this. Here's another view of that rushing mountain stream. Comes down the mountain and goes right by that old, right by that old bush tree. Yeah, lots of drink for the bushes. We just love uh, bringing you guys really high quality handmade tea. But I'd like to point out in this facility, you know, there's uh, there's all kinds of machines, but the process is very high touch. Uh, every every batch is quite small, and it's just not possible to make oolong tea by hand. Uh, it's not practical over here. In this room, we've got the Scott Sing roller. It's pretty dark in there, so you can't really see it. That noise behind me is from the roasting machine, and then over there, you've got your kiltering machine. So the, the producer still has to walk the tea through each one of those steps, and it's critical that you get it all right. Or the tea won't be amazing. Like what we had was absolutely amazing. So there's nothing wrong with machine-made tea. It's as long as it's done right. Even the wood here is foreign to me. Look at how red this firewood. Obviously, won't be used for fire for a while. It's soaking wet. But、uh, look at how red it is. I gave it a smell, and I couldn't pick up any、uh, scent off of it. Some of it. This is like more what I'm used to, right? A nice blonde. Wood like that, but this is like almost a deep orange, pushing towards red, like the color of Hongcha. So here we are on another trail, headed towards another old bush Shuixian garden, not as old as the first one, but I'm looking forward to seeing that. We're closer to the facility here, so I can smell、uh, wood smoke from、uh, wood fire smoke. You can still hear the odd car go by here. We're not as remote at all, but it's still quite a beautiful path into the garden. These giant bamboo trees are around. Oh, here it is up ahead. This is exciting. So we're in the、uh, we're in the second old tree Shui Xian Garden, old bush, and、uh, it's just amazing here. This one's larger than the last one.、Uh, we're looking or out overlooking the village here. I can smell some wood fires. Uh, burning in the distance. We just came out of the factory. It is so beautiful here. Just look at the size of this bamboo and this gigantic tree here. There's Jen's arm there to give you. A, it's about a good five feet thick, I would say, minimum, maybe six, maybe five. Anyway, it's giant. <laughs> Yes. Oh no. That's why you want to make them into a、uh, tomzu. <laughs> tomzu. So we're in the very ancient,、uh, old, super old, Shuixian Garden here, and I, I have visited many gardens, and I don't get excited very often. But this one is amazing. We have many videos from the last one, which were hundred years old Shuixian. Impressive! The whole environment is amazing, and here you can see the tea garden. The teas are really like tall, really tall, like really big. As I was like、uh, through thirty to fifty years old, super impressive. 
the environment here, the surroundings, and everything. And、uh, upon sipping their teas, you really feel and taste the amazing environment as well as their、uh, craftsmanship. Really exciting. Yeah, absolutely. So we just had a delicious supper, and now I'm back at work tasting more tea. What a tough life! I wish we had taken more footage, but we were all in shock when we were in the garden. Amazed by how old, wild, and raw the tea bushes were, I've never seen tea bushes form a canopy overhead. It was like a magic forest. We subconsciously felt like we were intruders to the garden, and we talk quietly and move with caution, as if we could wake somebody up. The whole experience was just、uh, unbelievable and surreal. I asked Phil, "What was the most unforgettable experience he had in this tea trip?" We,、oui, he said, and it's the same answer for me. The garden you just saw counts for one. Another thing we did in We is that we visited all the core micro terroir of rock tea. Beside the stunning scenery, we also experienced a thunderstorm in the field. The road we were on transformed into a little mountain brook. And there were no other people, just the three of us and the tea fields. We were not sure where the road will lead us. That was one of my favorite moments of all the tea trips so far. So be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell beside it, and you will be notified as soon as the new video is up. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, and comment below to let us know your thoughts about Rock Tea and Wee area. Till next time. Keep steeping.